Hey guys, so we're going to be going over the Evelyn Wood 7-Day Speed Reading and Learning Program by Stanley D. Frank, the Vice President of Encyclopedia Britannica. So um, we're going to go over six things. Um, one, figure out your baseline speed. Two, your thinking voice. Three, breaking the, breaking the sound barrier. Four, hand gestures. Five, we're going to go over a quick anecdote to kind of see where um, what it should look like you know, when you've graduated from this whole thing and what reading a book is actually going to look like. Um, six, three practice drills. Um, so the first thing, figuring out your baseline speed, you want to time yourself on your phone for about a minute and um, you want to read a hardback book, like an actual physical book instead of an, an online edition and you want to read um, just in the way you normally would and when the timer goes off you count up however many words you read and that's that's your baseline speed. So what you'll find is that you're at about 250 or around like well under 400 words per minute. Um, and that's because of the next thing I want to talk to you about is your thinking voice. So when you read text, most people, except the people who have done speed reading courses, um, when they read something, they they read it and then they hear it in their head. They, they hear the words that they just said in their head and then that's how they understand something. So the third thing I want to talk to you about is breaking the sound barrier. The sound barrier... Um, so in traditional um, reading, you can only read as fast you can only read as fast as you can think. So in what speed reading does is it, it allows you to read faster than you can think, um, if you can comprehend that. So um, and the magic number to reading as fast as you can think is 900 words a minute, between 900 and 1200 words a minute. So when you're still reading in that range, that's as fast as you can think with still being able to read. So the fourth thing I want to talk to you about is hand gestures. So the one way to immediately increase your reading speed is by using the, the first hand gesture they talk about. So let's say this book, you take this book and you, um, you go across like that and you kind of pace yourself and you kind of like, not exactly like that, like more, more organized than that, but that's how you do it. And, um, so that hand gesture is called the S hand gesture. So the reason why it works immediately is because one, you don't go backwards and reread text. They don't want you to do that. Um, Two, you don't. You can pace yourself by you know going at a steady at a steady rate, and you can see your pace. The third thing that it does is it, it helps your hand eye coordination. So when it sees your finger, when your eyes see your finger tracing something, it's it's better able to to see the words if you can if if that makes sense to you. So the the next thing that I want to talk to you about is the anecdote. So um, the anecdote is basically four things. So the, the first thing you do is a preview of um, whatever text you're going to be reading. So let's say you're reading this book, you know, then you read, you, you preview each chapter. Um, so let's say this was one chapter. So you preview um, and you spend four seconds per page just kind of scanning the information and you use the question mark um, thing. So you go like that and you go down the page and you use the question mark um, hand gesture and you preview the information and you spend four seconds a page. So the next thing you do is, is you, and you do that to each chapter. And then at the end of the preview, you take notes for one minute, one to two minutes. So the next thing you do is you read the same text, the same chapter, and you, um, you spend 16 seconds per page and you write little, you don't take notes, but you write little check boxes next to, um, whatever information stood out to you. And then the third thing you do is, so what you do is you reread the same um, chapter and you still spend 16 seconds reading it and you, you do it in, you kind of do it in double the speed. So you spend um, half the time reading and half the time going over your notes, going over the little check boxes. And then again, you take notes for one to two minutes. Previewed it once, you've read it twice. And now you're going to do a post view, which is basically the same thing as a preview where you spend four seconds per page and then you take notes. So the whole thing, in case you haven't noticed, is and then you take notes. And you have to take these notes, and your notes is basically, um, I guess, half of um, what's involved with speed reading is is how is your note quality. Um, so let's get into how to do it. So this is the last thing I want to talk to you about, which is the three practice drills they go over in the book. So the first one is a push-up drill. And what you want to do is you take, um, that's why these, um, so you read about, you know, you read for a minute. And then you um, you like mark off where you left off. Like let's say you left off there, and then you want to get to wherever that mark is. And you took a minute to get there the first time, so now you're gonna want to take 50 seconds to get there. You read it again, and then you do it in 40 seconds. Read it again, and then you do it in 30 seconds. Again in 20 seconds, and again in 10 seconds. So you, what you're doing is you're getting your eyes used to um, to seeing text quickly so you saw it you know what what took you one minute to see that many words you're seeing in 10 seconds 
Um, and the next thing is the push down. And what that does is it works on your, your speed. So the next thing you want to do is you want to work on your, your speed and your, and your comprehension. So instead of being pushed down, it's push up. So you, you read for a minute and then you stop wherever, let's say you, you finished one paragraph in a minute. So then, um, you, you take another minute, another minute, and then you read a little further you maybe read a paragraph and a half and you read for another minute. And then you, um, and then you double the amount, this amount of space, and then you're going to be reading three paragraphs, and you read that much for a minute. And these these times, for whatever reason, make um, an, are a huge deal. Um, and then the last thing you do is a power drill. This one is for comprehension, and this one's very important. So what you do is you preview the the material uh, for one minute, and then you take notes. So let's say, and you, you do that with in the same four seconds. And then, so you're going to get about 15 pages done. So you reread the same 15 pages for one minute by the underline technique, and then you take notes for another minute. And then you reread the same information for a minute and a half, and then you take notes again for another minute. And then you reread the information using the underline technique again for two minutes, and then you take notes again for another minute. So the thing with that one, um, so the important thing to remember is, is you want to keep that, um, that ratio of of one, one, one and a half, two, and you can do it with any amount of minutes you want. And you want your note taking time to be kind of the same. The example they gave in the book was to use 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and 20 minutes um, to start with. That's basically this book in a nutshell.